We end tonight with one of the greatest sports plays we've seen in a while. It happened when the home team decided to even the playing field on a basketball court. Here's Steve Hartman on the road. Teamwork on three. One, two, three. Teamwork. If you're a fan of high school basketball, you're not alone. Good boy! But if you're a fan of the Gainesville Tornadoes in Gainesville, Texas, then you are alone. Usually, our fan base was close to zero. My parents came uh, one game, but they didn't come to the other ones because they didn't have time. The other students at Gainesville don't come to the games either, mostly because they can't get out. This is a juvenile correction facility for felony offenders. And one of the few perks here for very good behavior is a chance to leave the prison a few times a year to play basketball. They play against private schools like Vanguard College Prep in Waco. And it was before that recent matchup that two Vanguard players announced they weren't going to play against a team with no fans. No one likes playing in an empty gym. But isn't that supposed to be a good thing for you? You don't have the other fans cheering against you? I guess, but it just seems weird, you know? It just didn't seem right. So, before their home game against Gainesville, Hudson Bradley and Ben Martinson asked some of the Vanguard fans for a favor. To cheer for Gainesville instead. The Gainesville players had no idea what was happening. They walked onto the court to find their own signs of support, their own cheerleaders, even their own fan section. Half the crowd was assigned to cheer for Gainesville. But then as it went on, Everybody just kind of got so into it. Nobody was cheering everyone, for you. <laughs> everyone was cheering for them. I mean, every time they scored, the gym was just <laughs> lit up with cheering and clapping, and everyone was on their feet. This is not what I've yeah. ever seen sports be. I think in a way, this is kind of how sports should be. It, it just kind of showed me the real impact that encouragement and support for anybody can make. Hudson says we all need someone to believe in us. We all need someone who knows our mistakes and loves us anyway. And for that, the Gainesville players can't thank those boys enough. It's something I won't forget. When I'm old man, I'm just gonna be thinking about this. Probably remember this for the rest of my life. And finally, as for who won the game, well, obviously they didn't care. So why should we? Steve Hartman on the road in Waco, Texas. And that's the CBS Evening News for tonight. For all of us at CBS News all around the world, I'm Scott Pelley, and I'll see you Sunday on 60 Minutes.